some communities like Lawrence, there are so many people who don't know when they'll be able to get back to their home. But in Andover, some people actually are back in their homes now. WBZ's Bill Shields spent the day in Andover and has more on how they are dealing with this crisis. David, the people on the south side of Andover have power. They have electricity. They're in their homes. But on the north side here, this is Main Street, 1,800 homes are still without power. They don't have gas. You can see the storefronts here are dark, and the stoplights are not working, and I fear it's going to be quite a while. It was strange seeing Main Street in Andover almost deserted and side streets occupied by dozens of Columbia gas crews. T3 Bartlett, 124 Main Street. With nearly 2,000 homes without power here in Andover alone and the gas shut down, it was a door-to-door -door process to examine each one for safety. We're um, taking precautions and um, we just made sure everyone was safe. That's the most important thing. One of the largest congregations of utility crews I've ever seen was staging on Route 114, occupying an entire mall parking lot. And in nearby neighborhoods, police were letting residents know it will likely be days before the power will get turned on. I'm really um, sorrowful for those people who have lost their homes and who are struggling, but you know, as, as life goes, we're very still blessed. We have our homes. We're all okay, so I feel like we can't really complain. Like almost everyone on his block, the gas surge blew out Brian Toomey's furnace, but no fire. But I just don't understand how there aren't any safeguards when human error does happen, especially when you're talking about gas, which is pretty volatile, that there's mm -hmm. not shut off valves. That We're back live now, and you're seeing some utility workers here in downtown Andover. They are literally going door to door at all of these businesses, checking for any gas leaking. But still, this is going to be a long, laborious process. This is not going to take, sadly, a couple of days. They have to literally, throughout this region, go check almost every gas line. Then, when those are okayed, the power can be turned back on. This is going to be a long one. Reporting live from Andover, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.